How's it going guys? This is Bradley Sutton from Helium 10 and this is the pro training video for our Chrome extension tool called Review Downloader. You know, not a lot of people are using Review Downloader, but this is actually my second favorite tool out of all the 25 tools that Helium 10 has right there next to Cerebro. So why do I find it so valuable? Let me show you some of the many different ways that you can use it today and then you get, you pick how you want to use it in order to help crush it in your business, all right? So I just did a search right here for collagen powder. I'm going to go Go ahead and uh, click on this very first one here. This is a vital proteins, collagen peptides. So the first use of how people look at reviews, um, the traditional way, right? And this is 100% correct. Um, this is the, the way that most people look at reviews or the reason why most people look at reviews. What they do is uh, they want to make their own collagen peptides, let's see. So they'll take a look at some of the top sellers and try and find out what are people most complaining about, the people who are giving it one and two star reviews, right? What are they complaining about so that I can take a look at that and see if uh, when I manufacture my product, I can fix those mistakes and then point those out in my listing. So I'm going to click here on the Chrome extension and I'm going to hit review downloader. Um, let's go ahead and pick uh, all of the reviews, let's just say from December of last year until this year. And I'm going to say, you know, I, I actually have different filters here. I can say, hey, show me only the verified purchase ones or show me only the helpful or only the ones with images, only the ones with videos, etc. I'm just going to leave all those untoggled so that it shows me all of them. And then I'm going to say, hey, show me everything with only one or two star. Now notice it already tells me that's 14% of these reviews, all right? 70% um, looks like most of them are giving are getting five star reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit extract right here. Let's hit extract and it's gonna go search all the reviews in the last year, basically that are one star or two star reviews. Now, uh, another thing that I could have done is I could have actually um, gone in here and put a keyword too. Like, let's say, hey, show me everything that mentions dissolve, all right? Let's see what happens here. It's gonna show me all the ones that have dissolve in it. All right, so here, here's the first one that I just looked up and it is showing me everything with one or two star reviews. Take a look right here. How many did it find? It found 290 that were within the last year that were one or two stars. And now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm just gonna start reading some of these. Cause severe joint pain. Um, let's see, keep an eye on your blood pressure, broken seal. Uh, my skin broke out, extreme gastro distress with this product, found a worm, would not stay dissolved in coffee. I'm just going to go on and on here and just start reading these and making sure that whatever my product is going to be, that it fixes these problems or does not have these same problems that people are complaining about. Remember, I actually put in another query where I said, hey, show me all the reviews that have Dissolve in it. Well, here, take a look right here. Here's all the reviews that have Dissolve in it. Dissolve. You could see, I just uh, highlighted here, every single one of these reviews has that word Dissolve in it. So that's another way that you can filter for reviews, all right? Um, but when you go through these, guys, don't just look at the negative reviews. What I would do if I were you, if I would also go in here to Review Downloader and select you know, maybe only the uh, positive reviews, okay? Why would I wanna do that? Well, if somebody loves something about a product, I gotta make sure that my product is gonna have that same feature, that same quality, all right? So that they can love my product. Now, here's the third way that I think is really, really important in order uh, for doing your product research uh, and doing your research for your own listing, all right? It is looking at all of the reviews that they've gotten. So I'm gonna look at all the reviews. All one, two, three, four, or five stars. I don't need it to say dissolve. I'm just going to say, show me all of them. Now it's going to be a lot bigger list. Probably it'll be about you know 500 or a thousand or so, right? Now why am I doing that? Well, you need to get in people's minds when they're buying a product. All right. What are they thinking about when they buy? This is beyond keyword research. There are words that people are thinking about that would never come up in in product research. And I wanna do that here for the bullet points. Now, this is not a great example. This is probably a brand name. Um, yeah, there's like seven different sellers here. I bet you this is something that you can buy in a GNC or a Walmart or something like that, right? So they can get away with having like almost no information here in the bullet points. But if you are a private label seller and you don't have that brand recognition, 
you're relying on your images. You're relying on making an emotional connection somewhere here uh, to really get to the buyer's wants, needs, and fears. Well, how do you find out what their wants, needs, and fears are? It's not in keyword research. Things that come up in keyword keyword research are collagen peptides, collagen protein, uh, collagen peptides powder, hydrolyzed collagen, um, collagen for skin growth. I mean, all these different things that people actually search for, but people don't usually search for their fears or their wants or their needs. Let me, let me show you how that works. All right. So this came up with 1,416 reviews um, found over the last year. This is every single review. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit here under analysis. What happens when I hit this button is it's going to take a look at all these 1,400 reviews. And in like a couple of seconds, it's going to show me in descending order, the most frequently used two, three, four, five word phrases in that are appearing over and over again in the reviews. Because I want to know what are people saying over and over again, regardless of if it's positive, negative, or neutral, right? So watch this. I'm going to hit this button. Boom. Just like that. You see stuff that, you know, makes sense, you know, hair and nails. Okay. Obviously a lot of people are going to mention hair and nails, 44 people, because you know, that's what collagen is for. It's supposed to help your hair and nails. Um, you're going to see some, you know, random things like, you know, using this product. Okay, good. Now you get to see how they're using this product. Collagen peptides. Wow. Isn't that amazing? You know, collagen peptides is one of the most common phrases, of course. So there's a lot of no brainer stuff here, but always there's going to be nuggets that you might not have thought about. Not only is there a nugget here, look at the most common common phrase in all of these reviews. It's not collagen peptides, it's in my coffee. So if you don't know about collagen peptides and how people use it, you might be wondering, what in the world? 100 different people are all saying in my coffee in these reviews? Why would they do that? Well, you don't have to guess with Helium 10. Watch this. I'm going to hit this button. Now, every single review that has in my coffee now comes up here and it's highlighted in yellow in my coffee. So you can see the context around it at a quick glance. I take this in my coffee every day. I can definitely notice the taste in my coffee. Uh, I put it in my coffee every morning. It dissolves quickly. I put a scoop in my coffee every morning. I put it in my coffee. Do you guys see what's going on here? Everybody is putting this collagen peptides in their coffee. Now, there's 100 people who left this review in the last year. Now, they say that the ratio of people who um, leave reviews compared to sales you know, could be like 100 or 200 to 1. So theoretically speaking, that means 100 times 100, um, you know, 10,000 people or more or 20,000 people are all thinking this about this product, all right? So that might have blown your mind. In my coffee is not a word that's going to come up in keyword research. Why is that not going to come in keyword research? Because people don't search for in my coffee. That's just a random phrase, right? They search for the actual product. What they're thinking about though is in my coffee. Now, do you guys see how valuable that is? You know, if you're a seller who sells stuff in Walmart or the grocery store, you can't just look at the product shelf and look at your competitors and say, I wonder what uh, the customers of this, my competitor's product were thinking about before they bought that product or what's on their mind. I mean, you can't do that. You know, you're not psychic. But here on Amazon, you can do that because instantly you can see the reviews of what people were thinking about as they bought your competitor's product. So if your product is really similar to your competitors, guess what? This is a subject that's probably going to be on their mind when they're looking for your product. So how will you use this information now that I just found this? Well, here for my first bullet point, if I'm doing something, I would be like, would you like to have, you know, 15 grams of of protein in your everyday morning coffee in an easily dissolvable powder. Boom, right there. Somebody sees that, they're like, whoa, that's exactly what I was thinking about. That's exactly why I was searching. How did this, uh, how did this brand know that's what I wanted? Okay, I'm gonna give them a shot. You guys see how valuable the bullet points are and how important it is that you make that emotional connection with your buyers in the bullet points. And how do you do that? You use Review Downloader and you hit that analysis button and see uh, for all of your top competitors uh, which ones are the most commonly mentioned things. In addition, guys, you could do this on your own listing. What if you had a listing that's it's been up and you've got like two, 300 reviews? Well, you're gonna wanna make sure to do this on your own listing to see what people um, talk about, okay? So that is very important. Let me continue. It's not, I'm not, it's not over how, what you can use you know, review downloader for. Take a look right here. Um, you can see the different variation and the ASIN that each review comes from because as you can see, look at this. This one has three different variations. Sometimes a review might be for one, sometimes it might be for another, or sometimes it might be for a listing that's not even on there anymore. Um, so what uh, I can do is I'm gonna export this 
I'm gonna export all these reviews into an Excel file. And I can go ahead and click on this. This is how it looks once you've exported. You have the date here, you've got the author. Was the was it verified or helpful? So what I would do is I would actually go here to data and hit a filter, okay? So I can, I can say, hey, show me all the ones that weren't helpful or the ones that were helpful or the verified or not verified. Um, here's the title, here's the, the actual um, review. I could sort by the rating right here in Excel. If there's an image, I can short, sort by the ones that have images, but I can sort by the ones that have videos. If I really uh, see a, something interesting here, I, hey, I wanna go reply to this review. Let me go to this review directly. Watch, I just copy this and I'm gonna go here, paste it. And boom, it takes me right to this review right here. Oh man, this person is talking bad about this. This is not helpful or um, I'm gonna go ahead and comment on this review, all right? Uh, what else can you do right here? Here's the variation. So here, as you can see, there's all these different variations. One, two, three, four, five, six. So at, at one time or another, there have been six different child items for this. You know, Right now, there's only, where is it at? There's only three different variations, right? But here it shows, or in the Excel file, it shows you the, the history of the different variations, the different styles. So you could filter it out, you know, to get laser focused the information you need. If this is your own listing, it's also important to download your reviews once in a while. Some sellers are doing this. Why? Amazon sometimes takes away reviews from you. And so if you ever notice that they tick away reviews, you're gonna have a list and you can actually show them the exact review that was taken away and say, hey, Amazon, why did you take away this review that was on March 1, uh, 2018 from Aaron Elizabeth Getman, you know, she said it was friggin' works for hair growth. And that was a legitimate review. Why did you take it away? You can actually reference specific reviews because now you can, you're going to be able to see which reviews Amazon took away from you if you are downloading this, you know, on a regular basis. So guys, I know this is a little bit of a longer video uh, than normal, but there's tons of amazing features that you could use review downloader for i didn't even hit all of them guys so if you have if you don't have this yet uh, take it for a test drive by going to a helium 10.com forward slash extension that's going to take you to the uh, download page so that you can install this chrome extension and guys don't forget any listing you, you're on, whether it's your own product or a competitor, make sure to hit this and then hit review downloader and then use this information to crush it and rise to the top with Helium 10. Thanks guys. Yeah.